Hello from Tom Squirrel Whisperer. This is my review and video evaluation for the Atmosting Waterproof Quadcopter. And let's take a look at it together. I hope that you're going to agree that this is an amazing quadcopter, a 13, 14 inch quadcopter. That is a kit that you put together some of the pieces yourself that uh, you're going to just love. It is uh, waterproof. The only water that uh, I found myself was a uh, good snowpack, so uh, that's what we're going to be uh, landing it into in our demonstration. Get some parts and pieces here. You have the copter itself, propeller blades, uh, pro uh, propeller guards, and uh, other pieces here. This is the control module. We're going to focus in on a couple of things. just want to point them out to you. On the left side of the control, this is the throttle up and down. Right left is for rotation and then zoom in on the uh, um, trim uh, buttons. The center, but, uh, the center uh, knob there is your off on. On the right side is your control for um, pitch and yaw and then also your trim for pitch and yaw. Okay, you get these small little screws which you're going to be using to install your propeller blades. Okay, now on, in, on the end of each arm, you're going to see that those uh, you have these little pins here. You're going to pop those out. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to put your finger underneath the propeller shaft and push up. You'll see the hole there on the propeller shaft. You're going to push down the propeller blade, making sure the hole of the propeller blade lines up with the hole of the propeller shaft, so that when you push when you push it all the way down, the two holes should line up, and you can see right through them. And then you can put the screw in and tighten that with the screwdriver that they actually give you, and tighten it all the way through. Now you want to put blade A across from blade A and blade B across from blade B. So it would look like this, A across from A and B across from B. So after you have the uh, blades put in, you put in the propeller guards. And so the, the, um, the pins will go down and then you'll screw them in. Now I did have some problems getting all the pins down. On uh, two of them I actually had to do a little bit of shaving of the pins because they went in really, really tight. Then after that, you'll put in the landing gear, and those were very easy just to snap on in. Okay, next is the battery drawer. There is already a battery pre-installed inside your quadcopter, probably. You push the battery drawer forward, and then just slightly, and then it's on a hinge, and it will pull open. Now you see there's the battery. Now the red wire is the uh, actual wire and, and then it will connect to you push it into that little slot there between those two round holes and that will actually turn the copter on right there see that little uh, connector slot when you put that red wire in there between those two little holes that will turn the copter on then you close the door now on the control panel, four AA batteries. I would use four AA rechargeables because that's what I always recommend. The quadcopter is not turned on. Those are the beeps you'll get. Make sure you also put in the antenna that is in your parts bag. Okay, so you have put in the wire. Your quadcopter turns on. It looks like this. The lights start flashing. Okay, now the first thing you want to do is set your trim. Start doing the trim. So when I, the very first thing that happened when I started doing just a low power test is my quadcopter started to power and immediately go to the right. So then I had to use that bottom trim button there on the right side to start moving my trim over. And you notice I moved that trim by taking that bottom trim button and pushing to the left so the little dots move over. And then I turned it on again, low power flight, and you see it started moving immediately to the left. So I overdid it. I used too much trim. Okay. So more adjustments back and forth. One more adjustment. And 
and uh, I tried it again and this time on this particular one I felt I had it close enough I felt that it was a good, good enough level of flight and so I was ready to go outside and do a takeoff flight so here we are taking off and gaining some good altitude this is actually my son in control and I'm doing the filming and flies extremely well very easy to maneuver and fly just missed the tree. Okay, federal regulations state that anything over 250 grams must be registered. This only weighs 138 grams. You do not need to register this quadcopter under federal regulations. It comes with two batteries to recharge it. It comes with a small recharging cable. Just slip that into a USB port and it will start recharging the battery for you. That's all you need to do. Recharge either or both batteries in that manner. Hope I've given you enough information for you to make a wise decision about this quadcopter. I think it's a wonderful quadcopter. You can actually play with this one in the snow. So, you know, take off, land it in the snow. It's great because you don't need to worry about it getting wet from the snow. So I'm giving the full 7 squirrel up rating. I really enjoy it. So thank you for watching my video.